What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about is it worth getting a job in cybersecurity still in 2024? Let's get into the video. So I want to start off by saying the simple answer is yes, it's a little bit harder to get into the industry now. Why is that? Well, there's a couple things that we're going to go through to illustrate some of the reasons why I think that is. So number one, the first reason why is it's just a bigger industry now. It's it, it really has just grown in the past, you know, 15 years and a lot more people are trying to get into the industry. So you have people from all walks of IT that are now trying to get into the industry where you did not have that before. So the market has got a little bit tougher for folks to get into the door. So because there is more competition, it's likely that you might have to start a little bit lower than cybersecurity. I know a lot of people out there say that cybersecurity is not an entry level position. I always push back against that because I am an example of somebody who got into cybersecurity right out of college. So I don't think that's necessarily true. However, depending on the market in your area, I would start to consider moving into like a system administrator role or or a um, Linux administrator, Windows administrator, or even a help desk role, just to get your feet wet and get some experience on your resume to help you be a better candidate to get into the cybersecurity field. Guys, real quick, I just wanna to talk to you about the sponsor of this video, Hogo. Are you ready to take control of your credit and keep your personal information private online? Well, Hogo's got you covered. And what's the best part? They actually reward you for it. Hogo makes looking out for your financial future fun and motivating. How? Well, they'll provide you with a credit plan to bring your future credit score to where you want it to be. What's gonna happen is every time you make a smart financial decision, Hogo's gonna reward you with coins. Some examples are securing your data, or removing bad inquiries from your credit report. So what are HOGO coins? Well, HOGO coins build up and eventually you'll be able to get gift cards for big name companies like Amazon and Best Buy. And they're kind of cheering you on to motivate you to make better decisions that the future you will look back and be thankful for. If this is something that interests you, don't wait. Download Hogo today and turn your smart financial decisions and credit decisions into gift cards. Check out the link in the bio below or use the QR code here to get started for free today. Take control, stay secure, and start building a great financial future today with Hogo. Now, the other question that you may ask, how is the pay? Is it still good? Is it worth it to get into the field this day and age with the pay scale? And the answer is obviously yes. Technology is ever growing, which means more and more companies are using technology, which means there's always more and more people out there trying to do harm through technology. So the simple answer is yes. Now, when you start out in IT, don't expect to have these high salaries. You need to work yourself up, get some experience and become valuable to a company. That's the important thing. You can't just expect everything and you don't know anything. So understand when you get in, you're getting your feet wet, right? And that means salary wise too. So don't get too ahead of yourself. It is a great field to be in and the pay is great. However, understand when you first start out, you need to take it a little slow and don't get too ahead of yourself. Now, is it worth it in 2024 for reasons of flexibility? Absolutely. This is a field that it tends to be very flexible when it comes to work-life balance. And what are some of the perks of that? Well, remote work. Remote work is a big thing in security. You can get your work done remotely in most cases. There are some instances where you might have to be doing some network security work um, in the office. Uh, that all depends on the company and exactly what they're looking for in their uh, security professional. Now, again, it's worth noting that I I understand that there's a large group of people out there that want to be hybrid and remote. Um, family life is important to a lot of people. Uh, you know, not cutting 
you know, cutting down on the commute times, saving more time for you to spend with your family or doing, you know, hobbies that you're interested in are important. However, again, when you get started, take it slowly. You may have to be in the office more. Um, you may not be remote right away, and that's okay. Everybody starts somewhere. When I first started in IT, I was full time, five days a week in the office. Um, but you know, with a little bit of time and experience, uh, you'll start to find positions that better suit your um, flexibility and what you need as an individual. Now, my final reason is is there's just so much room for growth. And that's why I think absolutely cybersecurity is still a great field to be in in 2024 because the growth is just exponential. Um, technology is ever growing and that's gonna always parallel with cybersecurity. As long as there's IT, there's gonna be people that need to secure that IT. So in 2024, security is just getting bigger and bigger. Um, it's more of a reason to get into the field field. Uh, if you're interested in this route, absolutely, I would recommend it to anybody that's thinking about, you know, going to school for this, or maybe you're just trying to transition in IT to security. I would highly recommend it. There's learning on a daily basis. Uh, the learning never stops, and it's just a great field to be in. So guys, that's all I got for you. In the age of social media, uh, there's a lot of people out there that will say, you know, oh, cybersecurity is oversaturated, IT is oversaturated saturated it's just not true look at the data look at the numbers it is growing cybersecurity is growing these are just some points that i wanted to point out to you on reasons why i think it's still a great industry to start your career in i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching see you later